Hello, this is a Bechstein Model 3 Grand Piano made in about 1900, 240 centimetres long, that's 7 foot 10 inches long. Now we've had this piano in stock before, it originally was rented out to someone who then couldn't fit it in so we took it back and then it was uh, sold to somebody who was renting a house in the Cotswolds and they thought they would be able to buy the house but couldn't so it's come back in again. Um, so it's quite common for dealers to have long pianos coming back in again so we're very grateful when it when it happens especially if it's a piano of this quality the, the person who rented it out was um, so enthusiastic about the piano and so disappointed that he couldn't have it he was he was a concert pianist standard uh, at least near that and uh, certainly appreciated the piano a lot said it's one of the best he's ever had so that's a good accolade isn't it and anyway I, I believe it's also extremely good piano um, just looking around the case because having been out twice you've got slight marks on the music desk here uh, we we can't take those off um, very easily so you would still have slight marks there we have improved them a lot already and you can see there the desk is fine the felt's a little bit we'll probably be able to improve that slightly so you can see it's had music on and on felt slightly worn as a result um, and here this one too you can see music's been on it so apart from that I think the piano is pretty pristine and certainly such a beautiful restoration we're very encouraged by that now it's got ivory keys and they're absolutely in perfect condition uh, none of them has come back off and been stuck back on and uh, really as good a set of ivories as you could possibly get I've talked about this piano on a previous video, it was in a big church building so it sounds very different from what it does now, but the things like the tied action has been replaced as we do on these Bechstein Grands when we fully restore them. And the hammers, let's have a look at how much wear it's had since it's been out. So you can just about see the marks on the hammers, so I would say it's been played in in a way the tone is better once the piano has been played in. Uh, you can see if you look carefully it's the soft pedals being used because there's three main marks and then you can see some small marks so the inner quarter pedals being used by the pianist as well these are top quality arbol hammers so we've just made another worksheet to see if there's any other work that might need doing and this uh, dampers are a little bit on the late side in the base area we felt um, and just some fine regulation so for instance this damper here um, it, that's uh, probably two-thirds is the maximum, it's about three-quarters of the way to the string which means the damper's not lifting off that far. It's working fine but uh, it should be lifting a bit earlier I think. Our key weighting's almost perfect, as good as we will get. So that's encouraging, nothing to do on the key weighting side as there usually is. Little bits of bright keys here and there, bright notes. Just comparing the tone with some other pianos in the shop. This is a similar length Grote and Steinberg. It's actually 220 centimetres long, a little bit shorter. This piano was made in 1923 and fully restored as well. And the new Forex, 179 centimetres long. So that's a Bechstein Model 3 Grand Piano, made in about 1900, 240 centimetres long. It was in a concert venue when I last recorded this, so um, obviously that's a very different acoustic. It uh, would fare well in a concert, it would certainly be more than adequate as a concert piano. I can't speak more highly uh, of any piano really than this. The Model 3 Bechstein Grand is just a superb instrument.
has tremendous dynamic range. And the touch is just a dream to play. I've always r really appreciated the Beckstein touch and when it's fully regulated like this it plays so sensitively as well as giving a lot of power if you need it. So if you're interested in the piano please let us know info at robertspianos.com that's info at robertspianos.com. Thank you very much for listening.